on guys welcome back to rc every day back again on part two of the rc four wheel drive scale v8 build so i found this v8 just going through boxes a while back and uh decided i would try to paint one i've never actually painted one of these the block it's all aluminum sanitized didn't really do any prep just use regular spray paint got it looking pretty good uh we installed the tunnel ram from cyanide speed shop on uh shapeways got the rc four wheel drive headers on there got the plug wires done which is the most challenging thing to me i just struggle with those so bad and i don't know why but we've got it detailed out we've got mesh in our intakes we've got fuel lines running to the carburetors they're looking good but we needed a few more things from rc four wheel drive so first thing we have here is the scale water pump for the v8 this is part number z s1719 and uh, this allows us to have a hookup for a radiator hose um, this one on here, I think this one came from the pulley set. It does come with another piece as well, but we're not going to use that because it doesn't have the, uh, hose hookups. So the next thing we've got here is the front pulley set. So this includes a new front cover, uh, pulleys, belts, lots of hardware, and that other pump, which is just there to mount the pulleys, but the water pump one has it also. Should have just included that in there, but it is what it is. Uh, this is part number... Z-S1537Z uh, pulley you kit with belt for V8 engine and the last little thing the water neck goes up here on the intake um, yeah pretty simple just one little piece of aluminum and some screws thermostat housing for V8 Z-S1739A so lots of little tiny screws I'm gonna get started I'm gonna do this stuff in high speed because it's the heat of summer here and I really need to have the AC cranking in the studio room. So doors open, fans on, doesn't make for good audio. I'm gonna listen to some music and just chill doing some tiny truck stuff. So let's go.
That looks much better. Complete the look. <laughs> so, I still don't know what I'm going to put this in. I've, I, I've got some ideas. I've got some prototype stuff coming for the rat rods. Not sure how soon that information will be out. Uh, I'm not sure if this engine would even work in one with the plans I've got. So, I don't know. Might be making some changes. I might throw this engine in that rat rod and use that engine on the prototype. We'll see. But uh, just kind of keep organized. The, this Bauhaus tool, having these where they actually fit in the drill. I don't recommend hammering down on stuff with a drill, but when you got a bunch of screws like that, it really saves time, at least taking them out. I still put them back in mostly by hand, especially the little intricate stuff. Staying organized, I've got this bin. It's about overfilled with all the spare stuff for the uh, V8s. All the RC4 drive V8s. I've got extra belts. I keep extra hardware that's this size that's specifically for this. Like I reused all the stuff for the uh, timing cover and the water pump. Uh, the little adapters for these screws I'll put in here and just throw all the extra parts kind of in here. Got a lot of these now. I think I've done three three front ends. I've done two with the tunnel ram, so I've got extra intakes. Swapped out valve covers. I've swapped heads a couple times on them. So I've got some busted screws from using a drill more than I was supposed to. Uh, all my spare spark plug wires and stuff like that. Just staying organized. I've got a bin for everything and everything in its bin. So, kind of a short video, but needed to be done. Like I said, I didn't want to do, I like how I painted these valve covers. I didn't want to do any of the other branded ones or anything like that. I'm trying to keep it kind of classy. I don't know why it's shiny. I'm talking about shiny stuff a lot here lately. So, <laughs> we'll see where the future leads us. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and following along with the channel and the builds. Encourage you to get out there and do something fun with the hobby. Check out rceveryday.com if you're looking at building a rat rod. I've got a really good base kit available. That's what this is built off of. Gives you a lot of the things that are hard to do to start with, and then the rest of it is all up to you. Suspension and axles and your style, your own way. So uh, rceveryday.com for those. rcfourwheeldrive.com for this V8 and a lot of these accessories like we just put on. It's really nice stuff. There's nothing else like it on the market. So keep it scale. Get out there and do something fun, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.